Since they uh, were created in uh, 1997, these standards have become a kind of gold standard, I think, um, for all of us. And I really could not repeat uh, the number of uh, countries that I have been in where uh, the reference is always to the sphere standards. And they have really made a difference, I think, on the ground to the quality of uh, what we provide. This revision builds on the previous edition. There's more emphasis placed in this handbook on the protection and safety of affected populations, something I think which a lot of us uh, have been thinking about, uh, and also the areas of disaster, risk reduction, and early recovery. This edition also reflects the changing context in which humanitarian aid is being provided by addressing new global challenges like climate change. So we need, uh, I think, collectively to demonstrate our accountability to affected populations and donors alike. The SPEAR standards operational benchmarks also provide a foundation to tackle some of the more systemic challenges that we face. For example, how do we manage the increasing number of actors engaged in humanitarian systems? I also hope that in our dialogue with people affected by emergencies, we, as humanitarian agencies, will promote the standards. They are, after all, our standards, so that people feel empowered to assert their rights to dignity, protection, and assistance, <coughs> and that they are better able to hold their governments, and also us as the international community, accountable for what we do.